the whole enchilada is one of the most classic mountain bike rides in North America or maybe the world. So we kind of thought, oh, why not just go down and get up to Burrow Pass in the springtime and embrace the snow. For me, it's just a really nice opportunity to appreciate everything that Moab has to offer, you know, the split board in the snow, the dirt. I feel like we've had a different kind of enchilada this week for sure. Josh Dirksen from Bend, Oregon, and uh, I'm out here on a mountain bike and snowboard trip, which is a little abnormal for me. I'm Adam Craig from Bend, Oregon. I'm a professional mountain biker, but in the winters I kind of like to spend my time ski touring. You know, having both opportunities to see how I work in the mountains and I see how he works on the trails and to just kind of inspire ourselves to be better athletes, you know. I've been to a lot of mountains in the world and it's really special out here how the train's laid out in the area. You can access all that stuff like quite easily, whether it be touring up in the mountains on a split board or skis and then dropping into the mountain bike trails, which are incredible. I think we picked the perfect time of year to come out here when everything was available and everything was an opportunity. The weather is always changing and that's really inspiring to me and I really enjoy the fact that we can be outside having a good time, appreciating it all, kind of regardless of what's going on. And there was a lot going on and we appreciated all of it. It was pretty wild. I was waiting for the, the storm to pass. It's been coming and going all day. Seek shelter. That's how you, how you manage these different kinds Indeed. of enchiladas. <laughs> and even the stuff like snowstorm on the mountain bike trail was you know, an adventure. Like it was a unique experience that we didn't expect or plan for, but, but when it was happening, it put a smile on all our faces. You know, it's not every day that you can go snowboarding and mountain biking in the same day, but it's also not like every day that you can go mountain biking in the snow and snowboarding in the sun. You know, it all kind of was unexpected and that's what we hoped for, but it definitely wasn't planned. What do you think, boys? Yeah, four yeah. days. Fun. <laughs> it is an enchilada. The whole enchilada seems to be the whole package of mountain biking to me. I mean, we got just up into the Aspen Forest to get some beautiful turns and perfect dirt. And then you're on Porcupine Rim in a pretty amazing landscape looking down on the Castle Valley and you come around every turn and your senses are pretty assaulted by what's in front of you on the trail and what's adjacent to it. But everything kind of makes sense. There's somehow a really good flow in this really harsh landscape. There's not a lot of places in the world that you can you know, be riding in the snow up in the mountains and just be looking down on desert and just really special place where everything's available. This little corner of Southern Utah is comprised entirely of inspiring landscapes and it's really a privilege to be able to get out here and enjoy these landscapes and hopefully inspire some other folks to come enjoy them as well.